Wow, welcome back, fellas. I know it's been a, um, a wee bit of absence, but I'm gladly back here on Saturday. It's no my Heidi my for video number 44, wicked, 4-4, four, four, heading towards my goal of 50. And I um, hope you guys are having a great weekend and enjoying yourselves and whatever you're up to, spending time with family or watching a bit of rugby. I've just come from a, a local high school game, which is beautiful day down here in the Hutt Valley for rugby. So it's been pretty, pretty cool. But now we're ready to settle in and we've got an All Blacks test tonight, of course, down in Dunedin versus Fiji. So it'll be good to see some, some running rugby. Now, our next classmate and friend. Now, I've got heaps of memories and and stories about about him but let me touch base on a few so an upper hut boy uh came to us was a day boy now we got to know this fellow extremely well from he was from akatawara i think the name of his house was carpathia he was the son of aj and sue his sister yes. was ellie and we had many many a good time and party at his house in his massive sort of garage shed. And I just have the fondest memories of being up there at Carpathia at, at this fellow's house. And, and in particular, his parents, they were so lovely and so welcoming to all of us guys. And, and they really enjoyed it themselves. Um, yeah. And, and you know, there was, it was so much fun hanging out with them. But look, I haven't heard and seen from this chap in 28 years got to know him really well like you did so let's give a warm kia ora and welcome to the one and only fellow that we called possum or poss it's a big hi to james bell kia ora jimmy g'day huge mate how you going yes I'm, I'm i'm really good but mate it's just really great to see you to see that face to see that smile and that possum voice of yours mate how how are you how you doing yeah, doing well, matey. Um, yeah, really well. Pretty um, happy the way life's panned out. Eh? Definitely, uh, yeah, up in the Bay of Plenty here in Tauranga. Um, yeah, so uh, no, nah, no complaints with life, mate. Everything's pretty good. Beautiful. Now, I mentioned yeah. your, your parents and your family. Please pass on our best um, from, from all, all of us guys uh, to them. You know, they, they definitely um, w w are such lovely, good people. So next time you see them, please... Give them a big hello yep. from, from all of us. Now, Jimmy, um, video number 44, we're, we're getting through um, quite a few uh, uh, of the boys now. I want you to take us back for you and, and where it all began at Silver Stream, of course, yeah, um, in 1989, as you came to school as a third former. So take us back. Um, where did you sort of come from and how many years did you end up doing at Stream? And can you remember your first day? Yeah, so um, obviously... Grew up as an upper hut lad in the Akateras. Um, to this day, I, I still, mum told me she uh, went into labour with me and she was driving down Ferguson Drive. Dad was driving her to the hospital and she went past Silverstream and uh, she pointed at Silverstream and said, if it's a boy, he's going there. So uh, that that's how that rolled. And um, yeah, the rest is history, really. And, and that, so uh, yeah, so obviously St. Joseph's boy before then. Um, and yeah, did uh, third form 1989 to 93 at school. Uh, yeah, I uh, ate quite a bit of my lunch at Silver Stream when I was there. I wasn't huge on the old theory side, but um, at the end of the day, uh, I did my five years and got there, and um, it was it was probably the best days of my life in a way. They were real good days. Uh, met a fantastic lot of people. And uh, yeah, just just good good rugby and, and good fellows. So uh, really stoked I ended up at uh, at Silverstream for those five years. Oh man, and we're stoked that you were there because Jim, you were very much a part of our of our year group. You know, I mean, I think you would agree. We we had a, a really um, special group. You know, of all different varieties, yeah. all different That's flavors. Right. You know, um, but man, you what you brought to us was you know was, was <laughs> crucial. Now, listen, um, so you stayed the whole five years and you ended up playing yes. a bit of some really good rugby um, within those years too. Did you play rugby after you left school? I uh, played a couple of seasons for Hard Old Boys Marist. Um, but yeah, just, just chipped away there and then basically kind of 
uh, took up a bit of snowboarding and skiing in Queenstown and, yeah, kind of left the rugby behind. <laughs> oh, good on you, mate. Now, tell us about the first year out of school. So it would have been 94. What did you do the yeah. first year out? I think uh, the first year out, so it was it was like whatever it was, end of, end of 93, I basically left school on the Friday and started work, I think, on the Monday at um, Guthrie Barons and Batoni. Uh, Ray Bonner was my first boss. And, yeah, so I probably spent, I think I was there for about three years. Um, and then from there, uh, packed the ute and went down to the Southern Alps in Queenstown. Incredible. To, now, uh, yeah, because you were always uh, the, well, the GB's family um, with, with your That's dad, right. of course. Um, and funny yeah. enough, I know Ray, and I got to know Ray um, in, in, in oh. latter years as he moved on to other um, hardware um, uh, stores. So he, he was a good man. And did you say so you enjoyed your time there? Yeah, um, Guthrie's taught me a lot of um, just life lessons of, of, you know, good lessons of life, really. Um, good old retail therapy. Um, great, great New Zealand uh, company, still going strong now. I think it's uh, 150, 60 years plus going. So, uh, yeah, just just really, really good, you know. And, and he, he was a great guy, so... Um, yeah, so there was no complaints there. Great way to sort of get into the workforce. Absolutely. Now, St. Pat's Stream, um, look, was was something to to each of us, you know. Um, it wasn't all smooth sailing for a lot of our boys. Um, what what are your no. some of what are some of the great things that you really loved about Stream? And on the other hand, what are the, some of the things that you didn't like about Stream? Uh, so the, the great things I liked about it was probably uh, the, the sport and and the housing, you know, the, the houses they had. I don't know, Bell House, obviously, I was in Bell. Um, I, you know, can't remember a few of the others, but I like the sports. Sport days were just fantastic, like swimming sports and 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 obviously, you know, watching the rugby, getting behind it was just great. Um, yeah, the culture, some of the, the dislikes of it. Um, I don't know, just just being a third former and, and getting <laughs> yeah. getting dunked dunked in that swimming pool um, as a turd, you know, when they used to the seventh formers would put put their feet on your shoulders and hold you under, and uh, yeah, that that was that wasn't that nice, but lucky I was a good swimmer. But yeah, <laughs> but no, nah, other than that, yeah, not too many dislikes really. How did it feel it's to good. play first fifteen rugby at Silver String? Yeah, uh, that was it was fantastic. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty awesome to finish off and yeah, play the first 15. Um, those college matches were just just amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, just, just yeah, really good. Good pinnacle to finish on. Um, yeah, it was, it was a good time. Never forget that. Still got the, the hoodie in there somewhere in, in, the, in, the, in the photo. So, yeah, well, you'll be, proud to, you'll be proud to know I saw a list the other day of every first 15 player since 1931, since the very first one. Wow. And, all been allocated um, a cap number, and I saw yours. So yours is there, oh. and you've got your own special number, and along with every other oh. um, boy that played a, um, a, a regular season first 15 game, you've all been allocated numbers. So that's pretty cool. Wow, that is cool. I yeah. didn't know that. Yep, yep. Yeah. So you've got your own, and um, I'll, I'll, I'll actually flick it to you so you can have you can have a look. Oh, no, cheers. That's awesome. Now, let's talk about occupation. So you left um, and went to GBs. What have you been doing all this time? And what do you do now? So, um, yeah, all this time, obviously a lot of retail. I kind of probably jumped around Guthrie and Barons for about 15 years, 20 years. Um, we had we had the family business up here in Tarama. Um, so that I was sort of managing that, uh, looking after the trade. Um, from there, I moved on to Carter's building partner. Uh, shorties uh, up in there. Um, yeah, so I did uh, account manager role there for about six years. Um, that was just, yeah, so really just looking after some big clients in town with the building game. So that, that was really good for your learning of um, skills and stuff. Um, and just recently, I've just of late, I've just uh, left um, a sort of a national role with a, a joinery company in Mount Monganui, servicing them with cabinetry for mega tens around the New Zealand. So I've yep. been sort of traveling around uh, the lovely country we have for the last sort of, uh, I don't know, what is it, two and a half years? So I just finished yesterday and now 
wouldn't believe it. I'm just about to spark up a career with uh, real estate. <laughs> so, wow. So, um, yeah, so it's always been a little flame there in the back of my yeah. head and uh, nah, I've, uh, I've, I've got the ticket, so um, I'm going to give it a crack. Congratulations, mate, and give it a crack. Um, yep. you, that wouldn't be with one John O'Connor, would it? No, it's not actually. It's um, it's I know John and I are good friends, and uh, we um, yeah, we do share a good bit of banter. But I'm actually going with Tremaine's. Yeah, oh wow, in Tarana here. So uh, yeah, bit of history and and NZ. So yeah, so um, yeah, just going to give it a good old go and see what happens. Nothing to lose. Yeah, look, hundred yeah. percent pos. I've been in that game now for coming up five years. It's some hard yakka, but you know, like anything, I'm sure if anyone can can do it, it's all about attitude and, and just giving it a crack, yeah. as you say, mate, and and just go for gold. And um, I wish you all the best because if you can do really well at it, you can do really well at it. So go right. for it, brother. Yeah, give mate. I'm gonna go for it. Eh? Give it heaps. So. Hey, now it, correct me if I'm wrong, but at some stage, were you brewing beer? Yeah, so obviously when I did my stint, well, after GB's uh, 96, I think I left, yeah, I did this first ski season, Queenstown, uh, about three seasons in, I got a job as a brewer's assistant at a little um, brewery called McNeil's Cottage Brewery in Queenstown, so I um, was a brewery assistant for uh, three years there, um, and yeah, that was, that was very good just to learn a bit of the brewing craft. Um, so still dabbling a bit just at home really and uh, yeah quite good to have a bit of uh, beer on tap at home not to the uh, Stu McKinley standard or uh, (laughs) FF fortune favours but it's it's not far behind let's face it yeah absolutely Poss I I got no doubt about it hey we're quite we're quite lucky actually a lot of our boys have done pretty well in either a brewing sort of role or hospitality role you know within our our group hey so if, if we're ever up your way we can pop in for one of your beers yeah mate um the stocks are a little bit dry at the moment it's been a bit busy but uh yeah i'll have to get brewing soon definitely okay oh wonderful yeah. now tell us about your, your family are you married and, and do you have children and if you do um tell us about them yeah so i uh, married a local girl in Taronga, uh Ange. um yeah so she would be married now for uh, uh coming up 15 years and awesome. we've got Congrats. Two, thanks, mate. Thank you. Uh, I've got two beautiful daughters, uh, Caitlin, uh, she's 12, and Emily's 11. So fairly close close together. Um, and they're at Tauranga Intermediate here. Um, Wonderful. Yeah, doing really well. Just been netball this morning. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just just normal Saturday sport. And, yeah, it sounds like we've got another one of the boys with the girl jeans. A couple of, yeah. couple of girls here. Yeah? couple of girls so just the two two kids so yeah it's, uh that's fantastic mate uh, enjoy nice. being a dad that's for sure yeah yeah 100 percent. now this is a big question man because i know you will have so many fond memories but your time at stream is there something in particular that's just stuck with you that you always remember you know that has lasted all these years is there <laughs> something that you can share with the rest of the guys that's something that's, that's particular to you um well oh, there's a lot of them there's a hell of a lot um you know that that raspberry with a tuck shot was hilarious but <laughs> one one um particular day it was a hot summer's day i think and i think it was the name of uh maddie uh, jose and uh what's his name matt um Jose anyway uh, and Bennett Quinn and maybe someone one of the other boys basically put me in a rubbish a wheelie bin at the top of uh, the stop bank by number one rugby field outside Redwood filled it up full of water and then just bowled me down the stop bank boots and all mate away I went yeah so uh, that was that stuck with me for all these years just getting (laughs) smashed down the stop bank in a a wheelie bin full of water Um, and probably Another one would be, as a third former, that um, that ranks we used to have in the quad uh, with that golf ball, and yep. the seven formers would get that out, and that would just be going Harry hard against the bricks, and yeah, that was pretty cool. I thought that was a bit scary, but it was pretty cool. So there's yeah. a couple of um, things I remember fondly. Absolutely. And you were on our seventh form PE trip. You remember that one? Oh, Down to Abel Tasman? Yep. 
awesome. Yeah, I saw yeah. some pictures of that recently, yeah, and that that definitely brought back um, a lot of memories. Um, now, of course, we've got this dinner coming up at the end of the month. Um, we've had yes. an awesome response. Uh, are you are you going to be coming to that? And you look forward to catching up with the boys if yep. you are. Yeah, yeah, I'm um, looking like I'll be making that, mate. I'm pretty sure I should get there, so uh, nothing's in the way. So I just got to probably yeah, just jump on a plane, or I might even drive yet. I'm not too sure. Yeah. So um. Good. And, and Jimmy, do you keep in touch with um, uh, many from our year? Yeah, so um, probably yearly I catch up with sort of Jay Williams, uh, Andrew Williams, Aidan Byron, uh, Noel Mackey and John O'Connor, Marty Watterson, of course. And yeah, just the likely lads. We sort of play a bit of golf and stuff. And yeah, just keep it, try and play for a green jacket and a pink jacket. I hear, I hear Aidan's, Aidan's pretty pretty good, mate. And he's, he's the current champ. Yeah, no, nah, he's pretty pretty good mate he's, he's 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 up there he's quite a whole roller these days Aiden. you know um no he, he's quite happy he's got that green jacket well deserved yeah <laughs> oh it's awesome mate well listen yeah. man i'm just really stoked that you've you know you, you gave us your time to come on and say good day because um i know the rest of the guys will be you know just just be stoked to hear from you mate and to see you and to hear yeah, that mate. um to hear that very familiar voice we're going to release this video out this afternoon so the guys can catch nice. up with you. Have you got a special yeah. message for the boys that are going to be watching this? Oh, just, um, yeah, I just hope everyone's well and, uh, you know, hopefully catch up with a few of them at the dinner and stuff. And, yeah, just just hope they're having a good time. And, um, yeah, and basically to you, Huge, I think you've done a fantastic job doing this. So um, thanks bro. thanks for hooking everyone up again. And, yeah, really good. You're, you're, you're a top man. So, um, nah, big ups to everyone and, and yourself. Well, see you. wonderful words from the man himself, the one and only Poss. Um, mate, thank you for those kind words, and I can't wait to catch up with you personally. Yeah, and I know the rest of the guys can't wait to see you as well. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only man himself, Poss, James Bell. Thank you so much for joining us, brother. Yeah, mate. Thanks, huge. My pleasure. Awesome, mate. Cheers. Okay, mate. Catch you soon.